What is up guys, this is Jay here with Jay Media one and today we are back with another tech review. This is a cool little gadget here made by Bassini. This is a digital microscope. It's supposed to have up to a thousand times zoom. So we're going to give it a look, check it out, see if it's something you might be interested in. It comes in this hard case, this hard leather case here, right out of the box. And we're just going to unbox it right now, and then we will later go over how to install things and tech specs and all that good stuff. But right now, we're just going to unzip it here. It's got this cool little carrying lanyard on it. And inside the case, we find this little stand here. It's all chromed out, and it's got this little piece of plastic mounts here with a wing nut, so it is adjustable. So you can adjust how you set that there. And then this is the actual microscope itself. It comes with a lens cover. Pop that off. It's got some LED lights around the ring here. We got a zoom button. We got a snap button. And we got a little adjustment here. And then we also have a USB-A cable. And it does have a flip down for a micro USB as well. Outside of that we have the driver disc. Just a little micro disc here. Nothing special about that. Most people do not have DVD or CD trays on their computers anymore. If that's the case, they do offer uh, the ability for you to download this as well. Um, it does come with a calibration ruler, so we have that. And a little bit of reading material on how to install everything and how to get started. So next we're going to check out how to install the software, how to get started, and then once we go through that, we will check it out. We'll hook it up to the computer and check it out so you guys can see how it works. Okay, guys, we are back. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go over some of the uh, how to install, how to get this software going, how to get this thing up and running. Um, some issues that I've experienced and what you can do to maybe make it a little bit easier for you. So this is the Bicemi website. You just type in Bicemi dot com forward slash drivers and it brings you here of course if you just type in basimi.com it works as well uh, this is the one that we have here so if you go to downloads and then you click on the USB microscope driver it takes you here and so this is the one that we have if you look at the little case there you can see it uh, be very aware of this so it says if you're using Windows and you can install all these different types of programs to work it uh, only these certain options will work with those programs so if you're using the Windows 10 built-in software which is basically just your video or audio capture software that you have in Windows um, super easy to install but you can't do much you can see that the snap button doesn't work the zoom button does not work you can't measure with it and that's for Windows 10 only. If you use Exploit View, then they say it's easy to install, user friendly. The snap button works, but the zoom button doesn't work. The measurement function does not work. And it's supported by Windows 7 and 10. If you go to AMCAP, not easy to install, not user friendly. The snap button does work. The zoom button does work. The measurement function, no. And then, of course, you got cooling tech over here. Can't do anything but the measurement function. And Windows 7, 8, 10. So, Windows 10 only here for built in software. Uh, so, your best option looks to be Exploit View, but you don't get Zoom. If you use AMCAP, you get Zoom, but you don't get you know, the easy install. So then if you scroll down here, you can see that you can just go to the Windows camera if you choose to go that route. That's if basically you just want to look at it as is. Um, there's the Exploit View download. You can click that, AMCAP, and then it goes over to how to install everything. Um, I can say that AMCAP I did install and it wasn't that difficult. Basically, you just have an EXE file that you run and then it goes through its process. Um, Windows, Android, you can do it on everything there as well. If you do this for Mac, I can tell you that you can't use any of that stuff. So if we click on um, Mac here, I don't know if it has that little chart. 
It doesn't appear to, but I know that you cannot use the zoom function and all that good stuff either. So basically, you're limited on this if, you know, you do have a Windows computer that's running Windows 10. You're in pretty good shape there. But you got to pick your software carefully to see what you want to do, you know, depending if you want it to zoom or if you just want the snap button to work. I can tell you that out of the box, the zoom is pretty good on this. So it's really up to you guys on what you want to do. Um... We're going to show you next what it looks like when the AMCAP software is installed. And the only reason I'm do doing that specific one is because I want you guys to see the zoom function, if it will work with that. And this seems a little finicky in that direction. Of course, this isn't super expensive, which we'll go over later, but it is a little bit finicky to get everything installed and working on this. And then once you have it installed, it's pretty easy from there. Okay, guys, we are back and we do have the microscope hooked up now and that's what you see in the background here so this is just focusing on the desk my desk that i have right now and so you can see it gets down pretty pretty good zoom level um, if we put the piece of paper in front of it here you can see that it zooms in pretty good it's getting those letters pretty good um, i also brought a few other things we got a a nickel here so you can see it gets all the little intricate lines and details on that. And this is the AMCAP software. So you can see the little Liberty zoomed in there. And the date. If you get in on the face, you can see all the little marks and lines and things that would come with some coinware. This is a piece of cardboard. And you do have this dial on the front that you can adjust the um, clarity of it, make it focus a little bit better. So if we focus in on that, you can see the little fibers inside of there. It's pretty neat. So there's focus on that. If we move it around, we got to refocus it. You can see how detailed it gets. I mean, that's just a normal piece of cardboard. You can see there. And yet, it gets all the little tiny fibers inside of the cardboard pretty good. This is a piece of foam. If you get that piece of foam in there, you get the adjustment here. You can see the details here starting to come to life. And I'm just playing with the uh, the focus viewer. So we get that. It's pretty nice. I mean, it does a pretty good job getting the details there. I think the best one so far is this piece of cardboard because you can see the little teeny tiny fibers inside of the cardboard, which is pretty neat. So it does do a pretty good job. Here's the tip of a pen. We get to the tip of the pen there, and then mess with the focus a little bit, trying to get it in there for you. And by the by, the way, the lights are on. There is a bunch of LED lights around it that are on right now. Every time I try to hit the focus button, I lose it. That's because you got to get it right in the right range here. There's the tip. There's the tip. So you can see it comes in, it does zoom in really well. Sorry guys, that one's a that one's just a difficult one to do, but like I said, going back to the, the cardboard, I think that's the best one we're going to get. We could zoom way down in there. Maybe there's a little bit of focus if we get too close. But this thing does go down to about a, a thousand times. 
uh, normal size so that right there is probably the best we're going to get out of this now in the software here we do have the option we do have some options um, we do have some options here to go full screen we can do a video capture filter which basically just allows you to adjust the hue and, and things like that we can mirror it we can flip it and then in the capture section we can do the snapshot size we can set the um, the ratio here where we want it to go we can take a picture we can set a time limit so that it doesn't record you know for too long we can capture audio with it so if you have a, a mic you can capture some audio as well and then this start capture lets you start your capture and end your capture um, devices it just lets you set up different devices as well so you can hook a, a microphone up as well as other things like that um, you can set the capture file and you can allocate a certain amount of file space for it if you go over to the help button it's not going to tell you much it just tells you about um, AMCAP the software itself now the zoom button on the side here if I hit that nothing absolutely nothing happens so I'm not sure if that's just uh, idiosyncrasy of this one that I specifically got or if that's how all of them are but I don't want you to get your hopes up that uh, that you'll be able to do much there um, other than that I have tried the Windows software I have tried that and it does work pretty good about the same really it doesn't give you these options here so you can't do the filtering and you can't um, record but um, if you just want to take a look at something close up you can use it for that and this is pretty cool because you can just bring it with you shove it in your bag um, hook it up to your laptop if you need to zoom in on something or if you just want to check something out close up students might want to use this something like that would be okay um, you are limited on Macs so if you have a Windows you'll probably be okay if you have a Mac it'll still work it just won't give you a whole lot of options so next we're gonna go over the technical specifications of it the price and then you guys can decide if this is something you want to check out okay guys so we are over here on Amazon's website and you can see the Bicemi USB digital microscope 40 to a thousand times zoom 8 LED magnification endoscope camera with the carrying case and metal stand and it's compatible from Android Windows 7 8 10 Linux and Mac although you're limited so that's basically a good a good view of what it looks like this is right now on sale for nineteen dollars and fifty four cents which isn't too bad if you just want something to mess around with you might be able to use this in PCB applications if you're someone who likes to repair PCBs or if you're just somebody who needs a zoom lens because you're having a hard time seeing so it is cool and for the price point it's not too expensive um, it does have the camera capture record you can record video with it um, they're saying a wide range of applications um, we saw the applications that are base standard for it I'm not sure if it is compatible with others the light adjustment there is a light adjustment on there that is the little dial that we were talking about on the cable it lets you make the lights brighter or dimmer depending on what you need it does come with the case it's easy to carry around if you have the software pre-installed it shouldn't be too bad that way um, other than that it's pretty simple guys uh, there's a couple different photos on here different devices that you can use and whatnot but for the price I think it's worth it I think it's pretty cool and you should check it out so that's about it guys for this review it is a cool microscope it does have a cheap price range it does have the uh, LEDs on here as you guys can see um, this is the dial that I was talking about that lets you adjust the brightness for the LEDs so you can turn them all the way up or down so it does get pretty bright there don't know how much you would need that this is the stand for it it's a chrome stand it's kind of cheap it's not super uh, heavy duty or anything but it does a good job of holding the the microscope for you there's your clarity or your focus adjustment here this is your zoom button your snap button and that's about it guys so I think for the price point it's worth giving it a look and if you like this video like it subscribe and we'll see you next time later guys Thank mm -hmm. you.